Everyone knows going from Figma to code is a big pain that devs have been facing for many, many, many years. Well, I guess before Figma, it was Sketch to code. And before that, maybe Photoshop to code. Anyway, Lovable have been hyping up this Figma import function, which I'm excited to try out. So we're gonna give it a spin on a few different designs and see how it does, see if there's any tips to make it work better. So let's jump in. Cool, so if you hover over the import, it basically tells you three steps to do it, very simple. And I've got the plugin set up. So we're starting off here with a very basic design. Cool, very basic, nice and simple, not really much auto layout. So we're gonna come to plugins, if I can find it, build an IO. And what we'll see here is a couple different options. So we'll select the layer, and we've got easy and precise and you can click to read more about them but essentially it depends on like how how specific you want the conversion to be and this depends on how well your figma is set up so if your figma is set up very precisely with components and auto layout you can use a precise version um, which is going to get you much more accurate results but they say if you're just trying it out using easy mode um, it's a bit more flexible i guess and it's going to work on a lot more different designs so let's give it a spin Okay, so now we've got a couple of versions to pick from, and we've also got a mobile layout, which is really cool. Um, so this one looks actually pretty solid. So let's select that and then open in Lovable, and it's gonna do some cooking, and then we'll see how it works out. That sun's really come out just as I started recording. Need the sunglasses. Okay, launch project success. Let's see how we do. Important to here, and preview is being spun. Cool, so it's breaking it down into components, and we'll get a preview now. I've now put the files into this project. Cool. Okay. Okay. Well, if we compare that to our design, it's pretty spot on, to be honest. And um, obviously in Lovable, we can select different elements and edit if we want. And it is responsive as well. So for this simple first test, that's a good effort. I'm, you know, that's solid. Let's jump on to design two, which is a little bit more of a complicated, a few more moving parts here. So let's select that, plugins, build an IO. And we've got a bit of auto layout here, but let's see how it does on easy mode. And then we can have a look at the precise mode for this. Because if we come in here, for example, to some of the elements, oh, I might have damaged that. Um, but yeah, like I said, we've got a bit of auto layout going on. Okay, so we ran into an issue there. Um, we'll give it another spin. Okay, so here we have a couple variations here again. This looks pretty good. Um, I'm not sure how it does a conversion here, but you know, this is definitely a good effort. Like I said, we'll give precise mode a try here. Um, you can kind of see the preview here. I think whatever you see here, it's gonna be the same in Lovable. So let's try precise mode. Um, saying low auto layout usage, but let's give it a spin anyway. It does take a bit of time. Well, apparently it doesn't. <laughs> the easy mode takes a bit of time, but um, not too long. And the amount of time it saves. Oh, I've clicked the wrong button there. Open and laughable. <laughs> yes, this might take a second. Okay, success. Let's launch a project and see how we do. Cool, so I'm making all the different components here. Okay, it's a pretty solid effort. Bit of responsiveness issues, but it's a good effort. Buttons are working. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed overall. I think with trial and error, you're going to get better results as you adjust the, the way Figma works. Um, but if you're just kind of pulling different Figma files, different components, you know, maybe from the community, I think the the easy mode, or what was it called? The the simple mode, I think it works pretty well. Um, so yeah, that's a good job. We'll try our final design here with the this Tesla dashboard. I thought it had a lot of auto layout, it doesn't. So we'll try the easy mode again and we'll export code and see how this works in Lovable. I think this can work really well in your workflow. If you're if you're looking for certain components, you can use it, take the Figma file, create the component in Lovable and then bring it into your main project in Cursor or Windsurf. To be honest, I could see myself using this going forward. Again, I love this choose a preferred version here. I think with AI, a lot more tools could could learn from that and then we'll open that in Lovable. You know, it's annoying waiting. It's the same with image generation, waiting, and then having a bad result. If you have two or three or four results and you can pick from them, I think that's that's a much better user experience. You can use the time while you're waiting to, you know, enjoy your views. I'll do a bit of stretching. Okay, we are here. Let's open the project. Okay, here we go. Um, interesting. 
interesting output this one um it's not the best it's got resemblance for sure uh, but but yeah didn't know this one but look like i said overall i'm really impressed with this and i think i'll be using this in my workflow going forward does it completely solve the figma to code problem no it doesn't and i'm interested to you know explore some other ways of doing that with time this is only going to keep getting better so yeah there we have it if you enjoyed the video and you're still watching hit the like button i'm new to youtube so it helps out a lot and check out my other videos and website gonna have some good stuff coming through the newsletter so first line in the description check it out and drop your email there and yeah all the best